All right, welcome back. It's time to get anti-social. Ah, up in hell. Good luck and Wiley, joined by TJ Hoosmanzad and Eddie House. Time for my favorite segment of the show, mm -hmm. our social media manager, Darnell Bling Bling oh. Smith. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? Pinky oh. ring and all. You the Willock yeah. Chase. <laughs> Come on now, hey. No, I ain't approved that. You ain't approved that? I ain't approved that. Them checks clearing, though. Them checks clearing. He's <laughs> back. Yes, sir. I finally got paid, baby. <laughs> Gator boots. Yeah. Did it at all, right? All right, Darnell. What's happening out in oh, Twitter man. land? Yeah, man. Let's get it going with everybody's favorite diva, Antonio Brown, who, despite all the year-end drama with the Steelers, seems to be living his best life right now. After spending $500,000 on a watch, two goat rings, five carat diamond earrings, and a diamond chain. I know Twitter tore him apart when people questioned his decision and comparing him to the likes of Mike Tyson saying he'll end up broke. Y'all cool with AB's drip? I like it. I'm gonna keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> we know where you are. The youngest we one here. I like it. Look, man, I'm not gonna play the old man because I, I used to be young and dumb. Yeah. And I can remember, I think it was 1994, 95, I, I got my first job in six figures. Yeah. And I went out and bought me a big gold chain, had a custom made that said the league. <laughs> Literally. The league? And I, yeah, it said the league. And it, was, it was for black dudes that made six figures legally. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I hope that didn't work. <laughs> Wore the chain twice. Yes, yes. Put it in the drawer. Yes. And can't find it now. This was, you know, 19, again, this was 1994. Which, so I've been young and dumb yeah. and blowing money. Yeah, he I, ain't young no more, though. Yeah. Nah. Nah. That's still young. Yeah, it is. But he, 30? He's still going. Uh, this is third contract. You do that on your second, your first big one. Yeah, well, look, I, I, I'm with you with Locke. I am not going to sit there and talk <laughs> from a high. I used to floss to the best level. I did everything AB did, except there was no social media. So, one, uh, people out there, you didn't know exactly what I had unless you were around me. But I remember one time I was out. Rolls Royce, right? Me and the Rolls Royce had one with me, about to go find another friend. We about to do this, right? Good night. <laughs> My homeboy in the league was in the cab with three other friends. And I was like, wait a minute. That's the moment it hit me. I'm like, I am doing too much. <laughs> he in the cab, <laughs> and he winning more than me. He got and a three. Got he got a three piece. Huh? Got a three piece. What a biscuit. So I was like, you know what? That's it. No more fun. And you was trying to get the three. Oh, I'm trying. Right. Right. It wasn't working, though. He got him in the cab. <laughs> he got him in the cab. <laughs> I mean, for me, I don't mind it. Everybody's going to have fun. The jury part for me, that's never been a part of who I am. I've never really worn it, but it, I'm not spending $500,000 on a watch. I don't care how much money I have. Mm. And then to put it on social media, that's just saying, come rob me, bro. Come get me. Yeah, he's flossing. I, I was never, I'm like you, I was never big on jewelry and stuff like that. Um, but I ain't big on counting other people's bread either and how they want to spend their money. So if he wants to spend his bread like that and do it, then hopefully he has everything set up to where it's not going to hurt him later in the long run. And, I mean, if that makes you happy, then go ahead and do it. Do it. I would just want to be clear. You earned it. Young and dumb. The key word, I, I used to be young and dumb. It's not a smart thing to do. No, it's not. No, hopefully not he'll all. grow no, out of it. I used to have eight cars. I mean, third, now I got one and I don't even wash it. Like, <laughs> like, it's amazing how you evolve. Like, it's crazy. He's 30. I don't think, this, this is what he is, who he is. He yeah. I, I agree with that. All right, Darnell, what's next? Mm -hmm. All right, man. The Baseball Hall of Fame voting came in yesterday, and there's no surprise Mariano Rivera made it in. But take a listen. You remember five years ago I told you I'd be making this phone call? Uh, I don't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> you know, I'm calling the giant that the baseball writers have elected you for the Hall of Fame. Amigo, amigo, I have another piece of news. Yes. You are the first person. No! It was. They knew it was they coming. Knew. He already they knew. They knew what it was. You got surprised he was the first person to be unanimously voted in? I, I'm not surprised. Yeah, I am surprised yeah. because there's so many guys that should have been unanimous. Like Ricky Henderson. Oh, and man, you Griffey got him on my Jr. list. That's my favorite. Griffey Jr. Time. Yeah. The bag, too, huh? Willie and Mays. And, and, and so when I Hank think of the, like the top 30, 40 yeah. baseball players of all time, Mario, great player, deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, greatest reliever perhaps of all time. But the first unanimous, uh, I'd have saved it for somebody better. But in, <laughs> in that list, and we all have the list, we heard it. Who had a greater reputation and less competition at the position in terms of being the closer? Like, I think that's what 
put them over the hump. It's just like, okay, well, then you talk about position players. Well, there's this, this, this guy. And then what was his reputation? A lot of guys came out with their own flaws or whatever you want to look at it. So maybe he was just the perfect Perfect candidate. person for it. Perfect, Perfect candidate. candidate. So he was Mike Tyson when he was knocking everybody out. Everybody know he come in the game, it's over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was lights out. Breaking he was lights backs. out. But the thing is, too, is it, not only he was lights out on the field, he was just a great person off the field. And I think dealing with the media, that, that also yeah. bodes well for you moving forward if you're going to get voted in the Hall of Fame is you, you treat everybody the right way. They, oh, in I'm New York. A, yeah, you play in New York. York. They're going to go ahead and put a check by his name for sure. All right, Darnell, what's next? Yeah, sticking with the Hall of Fame topic. Where for the seventh straight year, Barry Bonds was not voted in. He reached 60% of votes for the first time, but was still short of the 75% need to get in. Social media was livid about the decision, saying that it was a total joke that arguably the greatest baseball player of all time still wasn't in the Hall of Fame. Barstool Sports tweeted out this long list of amazing stats from Bonds that, to me, makes it pretty obvious that he should be voted in. His votes keep going up every year, guys. You think he's close to getting in? He's got three years left to do it. Mm. Then he goes to the Veterans Committee where he may not have a shot. Uh, or the senior committee where he may not have a shot. I, I think they're going to let him in on the 10th time. I think when it comes down to his last and final shot, he's going to get 75% of the vote. Did he ever fail a test? Nope. No. So that's, I mean, look, we could guess all day. We could say, you looked the part, you played the part. And a lot of people say, even if he did take steroids, his body of work before the steroids was taken, he already was a Hall of Famer. So in that... I think they're going to make him wait, send a message to everybody, especially the new prospects, like, hey, we're not allowing this, but get him in. He deserves it. Yeah, it, to me, it's a damn shame, really, to be honest with you. When I, Barry Bonds seemed like he was either hitting a home run or getting walked when I was watching yep. baseball. Yeah. Hit a home run yep. or get walked. And you talking, we just unanimous, he should have been that guy mm. because he was by far and away the best player in baseball. It wasn't even close. Right. And, th th you know, the thing is, is they talk about the steroid use, right? And he, he was never caught, uh, tested positive. Yeah. We know that he, he used it or whatever. But the pitchers was on it, too. They, now, that's giving them, they're able to, instead of getting out, taking out the sixth, seventh inning, they're able to go for, uh, complete games. They got a little bit more bend on their curveball. Their arm is snapping back. That velocity on that fastball staying the same throughout the duration of the game. You still got to hit that baseball. That's a damn hard thing to do. Let's be clear, though. Roger Clemens isn't in the Hall of Fame either, and he certainly deserves it. He, here's what I, I, I'll say, TJ, or uh, uh, Eddie and TJ and Marcellus, is before steroids, Barry Bonds was on pace yeah, to yeah. be a Hall of Fame baseball no yep, player. Yep. And we looked the other way, and he was like, oh, man, y'all letting Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire and everybody do this? Get on it. And so he said, you know what? I'll do it, too. <laughs> we'll you can't take steroids for the hand-eye coordination. No, you can't. You, you can't. You, that's not right. How you know? You took them? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, a lot of hey. people always say that. Leading the what? league yeah, in walks and home <laughs> runs is amazing. <laughs> do I know what's next? Yeah, last <laughs> but not least, uh, Rob Parker was on the herd uh, not too long ago, and the had a lot to say about the Patriots, so they decided to clap back on their Twitter page. Take a listen. This is about Independence Day for NFL America. The reign of terror will finally be over. <laughs> Direction, Brady under center, a give to Burkett, runs it left for the win! Touchdown! America's worst nightmare is back! What if they do win? Uh, I think I'm moving to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, do you guys like that the Patriots decide to clap back on FS1? I, I love it both ways. I, Rob's having fun. The Patriots are having fun. Right. got to remember, it's a game. Thank I you. like this kind of smack talk. I love it, too, man. Uh, I ain't going to lie. I was a little jelly belly, too. I was yeah. like, damn, I want one. <laughs> like, throw me. But I'm not going to make up something against something I don't really believe. But if I'm wrong, come get me, baby. This is all fun. I yeah, for me, it's fun. If, if Rob, you need help moving to Mexico, man, if you I got, got some time, I'll help you out. <laughs> but yeah. it, it's, all, it's all in good fun. The Patriots fans, they brutal, bro. I just got on social media, and I'm talking about when I'm... Man, they don't play. <laughs> they don't play. Yeah, at your neck. Yeah, this was all fun, man, and, and Rob was a good sport with it, and if you're able to dish it, you'll be able to take it back, and, and that's what they're doing, so you have no problem with that. I think more organizations should do that if they see guys talking about them. They should troll guys. I think that'll be a good way to you're have a good a relationship. Between, yeah, you're great. seeing a lot more of Between media of... and, and sports yeah. franchises. Yeah, build that relationship The back. Chiefs did it to Colin Cowherd. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody it. did it to Stephen A. Smith when he thought, you know, somebody... Oh, the tight end. <laughs> <laughs> the tight end was a player. Yeah. All right, thank you, Darnell. Coming up, some people are mad Patrick Mahomes didn't get to take the field in OT Sunday, but should the NFL change its overtime rules? We put on our thinking caps. Hurt!